video for you guys and this video is kind of going to start up a new segment on my channel i'm not really sure what i want to call it i'm thinking like to his advice corner something to that nature i'm not really sure but if you guys have any suggestions on names or ideas whatever please drop them in the comments below um for some of you guys who are commenting to me on google plus I have not figured out that thing yet so what I do when I comment I just comment under the video as normal and I reply back to everybody that's normal but there are a couple times when I try to reply to some of you guys who leave comments it does not have a reply button by your name so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go to Google Plus and reply to you or whatever I don't know but I'm trying to figure it out so don't think I'm ignoring you if I don't answer your comments and I do know there's some videos I put up and I don't answer comments at all it's just because I forget so bear with me I'm trying to do better on that um there's really no excuse but sometimes I forget but if you have a question and I didn't answer it most times just contact me through my Facebook or hit me up on Instagram I'll definitely answer those because I'm always on Facebook and Instagram so definitely check me out um so I this video today I just wanted to come to you guys and talk about something um I had asked before on my Facebook what did you guys want to see and um one of you guys requested a confidence video and then right after that I got a message um asking me a couple questions and I decided that I wanted to go ahead and do this video for you guys so I wanted to read this message because I thought it was something that a lot of women go through and even though I'm plus size sometimes it's so hard to believe that there are so many girls out here that don't have confidence or they feel less than or people put them down so much and they don't have the confidence um in themselves so I wanted to go ahead and read this message and um, we're going to call her Deidre because that's the name that I came up with right before the video. But um, yeah, so we're going to call her Deidre. And she wrote me and she said, Hey Shonda, I've been watching your vi videos on and off for almost a year. And I have noticed your confidence and how comfortable you are in your skin. How did you start to be sure of yourself like that? Some days I'm positive and sure of myself, but others I can't stand looking at myself in the mirror. You are so beautiful and confident. I tried to do my makeup or style differently to maybe help myself push to be positive but starting off in makeup is hard and very expensive and putting on a mask doesn't really work unless you have have the confidence to rock it well I want to be at least half as sure of myself as you are and I thought maybe you could tell me how you got there and what you say to yourself on your low moments if you could help me out I would love it um so <laughs> For me, I want to say I don't have too many low moments about me. I'm just confident. But when I do, every now and again, I do, you know, have a low moment or I'm like, oh, you know, I want to get rid of this. There's always something on our bodies that we don't like or we're not confident about. Um, and I'm not going to go into what my body, conf the things that I'm not confident about on me. But there are some things that are on me and that I'm not very confident about. But I am learning to embrace those. And that's, that's one thing I can say. Learn to kind of embrace it. Pick something out on your body that you love or you're not, you know, you're not too happy about, I, sh I should say, that you're not so confident about. And just embrace it. Start loving it. You know, it is you. It's a part of you, you know. Um, it just kind of is what it is, you know. Um, this is like my second time being as heavy as I am right now in my life. And I've been battling this journey so far for the past like eight years. And that's due to because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. And it didn't really get bad until I was like 20. Um, before, it was off and on throughout when I was high school. But one thing I can say that helped me and somebody's channel um, that you should definitely watch sometimes because she does a lot of videos about empowering women and women should take care of themselves is CK68, which is Sweet Candy Cane on YouTube, uh, Instagram. I love her channel. Um, one thing that draw me, drew me to her channel was that I noticed that she has a daughter and um, she validates her daughter at home. And that is where it starts that is the foundation of your confidence is when your parents validate you at home so therefore I didn't really need the outside world or other people to really validate me I, I had it I got it from home my mom always told me that I was beautiful um, I would come home crying people pick people ugh, people picking on me and she would tell me you know just basically snap me up by my bootstraps and be like look you're beautiful you're confident forget what they say so what they don't like it if you don't like it see you don't want to be a, don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you okay so it, she would just give me the confidence that i needed you know yeah you want the outside world to see you but it's something that i've noticed sometimes people on the outside world don't notice us they are a plus size people they that goes for men and women they don't see us because see us are the true beauty that's inside of us because they're too focused on 
the you're big which is the negative thing the world portrays that you have to be a certain size to be beautiful but i'm here to tell you curvy is beautiful plus size is beautiful who said that a size two was meant to be what everybody is supposed to see is beautiful no I, I look damn good okay and nobody can change that thought in me and i grew up my mom instilled that in me number one number two once i got an age of where i like boys and now i get upset oh plus size don't like me because i'm fat Okay, so you don't like me because I'm fat. That doesn't mean that the next dude don't like this, okay? All, all of this, okay, doesn't mean that the next man doesn't, okay? And there's plenty of men who like big women, okay? And I'm not talking about chubby chasers or people who like to get their girlfriend to eat until they just big and no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about a real man a man who sees you for a woman a man that loves you for you and is not asking you to change there's plenty of men that's out there like that you just have to take the time out to weed them out and figure out who you know which which ones are there you know are these are these ones just wanting me because they think i have low self-esteem because there's are men that prey on women who are plus size because they think you have low self-esteem low self-esteem for me i just think it, i was validated at home and lately if you guys have noticed some of my pictures i've been posting about love yourself it just came out of nowhere like i have been struggling with pcos for such a long time and if you guys watch my videos from when i started i lost weight gained weight i lost weight i gained weight i lost weight i gained weight I lost weight um in the beginning of this year i lost weight i gained weight i lost weight i gained weight again which is now and I just got to a point I was so focused and so upset about not having kids and so like focused on oh I'm so fat because you know I wasn't this weight when I first met my boyfriend I was so upset I got to a point where it's like okay we're gonna work on it but that's not your main focus you gotta focus on loving you and like I said I tell people all the time if you don't love yourself you can't love nobody else there's no way if I don't love me there's no way I can love that man in there no way because I don't I don't respect myself I don't love myself enough so how can I love him? So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you need to like, I say write, uh, write that, write something every day. Like for me, I keep a journal. I keep a journal for like times when I'm stressed, I like to write. Um, it just helps me get my thoughts out because I, I talk to my friends, but I am a closed person cause I, I'm like that because I'm an only child. So I can go, I can go days and days without talking to anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't <laughs> I don't have to cut on the camera and make a video. I don't have to talk to people outside of the world. I can just be in my own little bubble and I'm you know, I'm completely fine with that. And um I, I like to write. So I would say get a journal and just every day write one thing that you like about yourself or um stand in the mirror. Sometimes for me when I have low days, I like to stand in the mirror and I like to I like to do my makeup. For example, um well, I'm getting ready to go with my boyfriend to a Christmas party, but like I like to just you know, do my makeup and just kinda of stand in the mirror and say, Dang, you look good and just take a bunch of selfies, just be in there with the camera girl, just Mm -mm, girl what and I, you know that makes me feel good you know and you can always tell I'm taking selfies because I'm posting something on Instagram Facebook whatever but you know it just that makes me feel good if you feel like you don't want to wear makeup do something that makes you feel good whether it's just getting you a glass of wine and running you a bubble bath with you know some candles lit and just relaxing putting on a sexy outfit whatever something do something that makes you feel good about you okay and all I can say is just to to really embrace you and once you embrace you and love you it doesn't matter what people think of you because I got I got that a long time ago people used to call me all kinds of names they still do and I think one thing that really helped me is like on YouTube people are so nasty and so rude that I grew I just grew some balls like I don't care what you say about me you call me precious call me Miss Piggy whatever and I love it when people say oh you look just like Miss Piggy really thank you boo cuz she was a diva okay y'all be seeing Miss Piggy with that pink satin dress and them gloves on child bitch be hot <laughs> but you know like I just I just don't care anymore and once you get I think that's probably what it is a, a, a lot of it is is you're kind of caring about what people are saying to you if you have any negative people in your life get rid of them tell them okay you gotta go okay because if you're not here for me if you don't like me for me if you don't love me for me then you gotta go that's family members that's friends that's people on the outside they gotta go your opinion of me doesn't matter and once you get to think like that and start thinking like that your your whole belief in yourself your the way you see yourself is so different another thing that helped um my mom <laughs> says this all the time um something she had low self-esteem too and um 
she one day said that she was taking a shower and she got out of the shower and she was standing in the mirror and she was like, she was like, oh, you fat. And she's like, you know one thing? You fat and happy. She realized that she was happy. She had found herself. She, finding yourself is hard. You know, it's, it's a journey, you know, and not everybody finds themselves the same. Sometimes it takes people years to find themselves. I think I'm still finding myself. I'm still finding different things about me. I'm feel, still trying to reach my goals. I still have a lot of things I want to accomplish. So I think that is something that once you start finding yourself and you start asserting yourself in you dress differently start dressing differently if that's what you want to do you said you tried to change your style Deidre and you tried to start with makeup you don't have to buy the most expensive makeup you could buy like a CoverGirl foundation a wet n wild eyeshadow palette and one primer and a couple little elf brushes and you rock that one palette and that one little thing of foundation you know and you can apply foundation with sponges so you don't have to go out and buy too much just buy the basic essentials that you need girl and rock that little one palette till the wheels fall off find you some outfits that you love go shopping with your girlfriends if you don't have girlfriends to go shopping with go shopping by yourself um for me and the funny thing is for me with my friends i've always been the biggest one in the group so it, you know we take turns shopping okay let's go to let's go to body shop for you okay now and we went to body shop for you and we went to rave what's that store is is called rave back in the day but there's another one like body, it's a body shop body central something like that it's another one papaya um we went there for you okay now let's go to lane bride for me or let's go to tori for me or let's go to forever 21 um and that's one thing that i really like about forever 21 they do have a plus size so so my friend can shop and i can shop and it's like a group thing and it's not you don't feel like odd man out but if you have friends who are supportive of you and love you no matter what i can say that like my best friend molly and my friend my best friend ellie they love me and i was blessed enough to have have two friends who support me through it all they've been there through the tears and the, and the hurt of the whole pcos thing you know so you just have to find people who are supportive in your life um that will be there for you while you're going through this journey but all i can say is just embrace you validate yourself since you're old you're you're older you're not at home that's where my confidence came from but validate yourself just go past your mirror and say damn girl you look good today mm, you fine you know what i'm saying you want sexy bad mother shut your mouth yeah just get in there and whatever you have to do like i said get a journal and just write one good thing about yourself and it'd be cool to kind of have a journal and kind of write like and if you're having a bad day you can write like okay today was a low point day here's what happened or here's how i felt and be like but tomorrow Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to be positive because you need to have a positive attitude I'll do what you got to do but just know that you're beautiful I think you're beautiful and the funny thing is you're saying you have low self-esteem I went to your, your page and I was like she's such a pretty girl I don't see why she doesn't see the beauty in her but honey you're beautiful inside and out and if nobody else sees that you definitely should and like I said you can't love anybody else until you love yourself so all I can say is embrace you, be you, do you, do what makes you happy, and forget the rest. And, you know, it's not going to be an overnight process. It's not going to be like overnight you're going to wake up and say, I love, my, I, love, I love me. It takes a while. But when you get to that point where you love yourself, it is such an amazing feeling. When I let go, or like I was holding on so tightly to this, this PCOS stuff that I was like, like literally, I was drowning in it. I was really sick about this situation. But when I let go and kind of was like, okay, here's what it is. This is what I am right now. We can work on it. I could work out. Right now, I'm not working out. I've just kind of been like, you know, it is what it is, you know. But I'll get back on my workout thing when you know when i'm ready to get back on it but like i said just love yourself and just embrace you so like i always say gems love you because nobody can love you better and i will see you guys in another video Mwah. bye